It is hard to watch the coverage of the Russian attacks on Ukraine and not want to help. Today, the lacrosse community is stepping up. Newsy Now's Dua Israr joins us live outside the lacrosse center to show us how the center is showing its support for Ukrainians. Amy, the lacrosse center is blue and yellow tonight and future nights for the people of Ukraine. This is just one of the ways that people can show solidarity for the country. As the Russia-Ukraine war continues, some people are looking to show their support. It tugs on my heartstrings and I, I wanted to do something that, uh, that I can do with the resources that I have. Donations for food, clothes and money are being collected across the world. What's happening in Ukraine is, you know, I think a lot of people feel is wrong. But the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection is warning people they may be taken advantage of. If they're urging you with haste to give money and not giving you time to research, that's a red flag. Before donating, do your research about the organization. Disinformation and misinformation is out there. Make sure you know where your money is going by using resources such as Charity Navigator and Give.org. What the fees are associated with it, the timing of your funding, all the kinds of things that you might want to know. But making donations isn't the only way to show solidarity. We don't have a lot of money right now, but I do have lights. Dana Erickson reached out to the Lacrosse Center about lighting the building in shades of blue and yellow. Uh, it just feels to me like this is the best way that, that I know how to say that uh, I'm thinking of you. Representing the Ukrainian flag. That even on the other side of the world, we're thinking about them this time. 5,000 miles away. That's kind of a unique way to bring it home. Lacrosse Center leaders say the attacks happening in Ukraine are unjust and they hope the lights can bring a sense of unity. Erickson says some of the other ways people can show solidarity is by listening and learning and talking about some of the things that the people in Ukraine are facing. Reporting live in Lacrosse, Dua Srar, News 8 Now. Hmm. Building looks beautiful. The Lacrosse Center plans to keep that building blue and gold, those lights shining as long as the city allows it.